Matush, we are sitting here in uh, Limburg, where it's quite warm today. How are you? I'm fine. The preseason already started. We are in the middle of that, so of course we are a little bit tired, but uh, I'm really enjoying every moment here and it's a nice time because we have some new players and it's really good to make some, uh, some team building and also create a new team spirit for the season. What do you think of training camps? Do you like it? I like it. I always like to prepare myself before the season because I think it's a very important part of the football and uh, especially then you feel it when the season is longer and longer and in the end if you make a good preseason then you feel like you are really energized for all these games so I like it of course. It's never nice if you have two trainings, you prefer to play more games, but uh, oh, this is also a very important part of football. So what are the most important goals for you at this training camp? Win every game which I can win, because that's who I am and that's my mentality. And uh, yeah, help, help to the other guys to, to be directly feeling good in the team and help them to, to set, settle here and feel like a home. You mentioned it already, the winning mentality, because we have a blue sky here and a bright sun, but the sun is also shining in a different way for you, because you're the winner of the training camp so far with the, uh, the foot volley and the, the, the quiz, the football quiz. Um, how does it feel to be the winner of the camp so far? Yeah, the answer have to be same like always. I have to thank to my teammates because it was not alone that I win foot volley with Tomas Hayek and the quiz I win with uh, Dan Hausmann, Jan Fisse and uh, Romari Kiapi. So I was not alone and uh, I cannot take all credit, but when I do something, I want to win. It doesn't matter what it is. Yeah, it confirms that you're always wanting to win, that that's part of your character. How come? I think it starts when I was a really small boy because I was uh, after each loss I was crying like hell and my father had to take me out from the pitch and uh, I was crying all the way from the game to home. So I think it's something that I have inside me from a, from a small guy. Of course now it's a little bit different and I learn how to work with it. But uh, I think I will all my life hate, hate losses and uh, that's I think really important in football because you always want to achieve as much as you can and that that's, that's makes me who I am. My parents always tell me, tell me that if you do something, do it on, do it on 100% and this is the, my motto for all my life and uh, it doesn't matter if it's football, it doesn't matter if I'm cooking or if, or if I'm cleaning the home, I try to do it always full and uh, that's for me something what they learned me and I'm really thankful to them. Is Claudia satisfied on the way you are doing that? Yeah, she's really kind of uh, in cleaning. She's a little bit better than me, so she's sometimes uh, complaining how I did it. But uh, in the end, she has no other option because now we have a lot of responsibility at home. So now she cannot complain so much anymore. Uh, the training camp is, of course, about working hard. But I can imagine uh, that you also think a lot about your family. Yeah, of course. I have a daughter, Matea. She's uh, two months old and uh, I, I would like to spend with her every day. But, uh, but that's... Like I said a few minutes back, that's also part of football life, that you need these pre-seasons, you need these trainings camp and they are very important for team to, to better know each other and to stay 48, 48 hours without the rest together, that's also really important. Yeah, it's your first training camp at Vitesse without them, uh, to be away from them. How is that for you? I have to say it's a strange feeling when I was living at home and I knew that there is a Claudia and Matea waiting uh, for me to come back after seven days, I was a little bit sad. It was also difficult to say goodbye because now the emotions are, are really different. Of course, I'm really family guy and I love my girlfriend, so for me it was difficult to leave even if she was there. But now we have our family and uh, yeah, it's heartbreaking, but you have to leave. And uh, after seven days I come home and I will help them and enjoy them even more. Are you a lot in touch with them? Yeah, of course, I'm calling uh, when I can, but uh, to be fair, Matea is too small, so she's more or less sleeping all day. So. So yeah, when I call, she's sleeping or sometimes she tries to say some, uh, something more like ah, ah, uh, but she don't understand that daddy is calling. So What are you saying to her? That I will come in a few days back home. <laughs> Looking forward to it? Of course, it's, uh, I think everybody who have a baby understands the feeling when you, when you really miss, miss them. And uh, when you come home, then you is like an explosion of emotion. So, for me, it's the first time, so I want to see how I will react, but of course I'm looking forward. But like I said, when I'm here, I'm focused to be here. Yeah, becoming a father is a big change in your life. How do you enjoy or experience life as a dad? It's really wonderful. I have to say before, when Claudia was pregnant, uh, I hear a lot of things, how it will change your life and uh, how it will be everything much more difficult. And I can say yes, it changed your life, but it, give, it brings you the best feeling in the world because you feel like somebody who is living with you and you are responsible for him and you are the only help for him. 
So that's something, and you feel the true love. I think also you feel it with your girlfriend. But when you when you become a bigger family, then you realize what it means, and that is the most important thing in life. It was special that she was born on 14 May, the birthday also of uh, Vitesse. Uh, how is Matea doing? Matea is fantastic, and I have to say after the labor, Claudia was tired, but she told me, you know, Vitesse have birthday today. So it was a really funny story. She was in the bed still. Matea was out for a few minutes and this was the first what Claudia told me. So yeah, I, I will be always connected with the club now. It has to be faith. Yeah, it looks like uh, I'm four years here and uh, my daughter was born here. So I always love this place and love this club. In June, you scored your first goal for the Slovakian national team. Looking to your celebration, it was a goal for Matea. Exactly, it was a first goal for national team and I think it couldn't come in the better timing because uh, of course the result and the games there was not the best but if you score and you have daughter for a few weeks then you are, uh, then you feel like some kind of crazy stone of happiness fall down from your heart and uh, yeah, it was an amazing feeling. Let's go back to football, uh, Matush. Uh, can we say you are becoming more like a father figure also in the team now? Yeah, it looks like because when we look on the players we have, there is no one uh, longer here in the club than me, and uh, yeah, I find it a bit strange. But uh, but also I feel I feel the responsibility to to help to the guys much more because I know the place and I'm uh, I'm like an like an home here. Do you feel a respons responsibility or a role for yourself, for example, with helping young players? I would not call it like that. That I feel responsibility, but all of them knows that uh, I am here for for them when they need me and. Uh, I think all of them knows that on the pitch I'm a little bit crazy, so when I'm sometimes critical to them, I never mean it on the bad way, but I always want to help them because I see the young guys as a potential for the future and uh, I think they are, most of them are really quickly learning and I hope they can, bring a f they can have a bright future. Uh, how do you prefer to fulfill your leadership role within the team? Yeah, for me more or less I am who I am. My character is to, to be the best for my teammates and to, to prove that uh, I, I am a level to be an Eredivisie and to be a leader and to be the guy which can take responsibility for his actions. How do you prefer to approach your teammates and especially the young guys? More individually because every position needs something else and uh, I always try when I see something what is not working for them that I, I try to come to them and tell them on a calm way that you can do it better and uh, this is what you can try for next time. Of course, sometimes it's a bit a bit uh, harder, harder loud because uh, or more volume, let's say, because I, there is a kind of people which need this and the, some kind of people which need to talk to them calm. As you said, you're for a while a player of Vitesse uh, now. Last year you also extended your contract one more time. You feel home here eh, at Vitesse. Yeah, of course, and uh, I, I also show it with that I resigned the contract because yeah, I'm four years here now, and uh, this I starting my fifth year actually, so I'm longer here than than all of you guys, and uh, I'm longer here than coaching staff, and uh, then the, uh, only the thing play only the people which are longer here is the board, so that's I, I find it funny. You played more than uh, 100 official games for Vitesse, also in Europe. You scored also four European goals. What do you want uh, uh, to come for you at Vitesse? Yeah, I want to play as much games as possible and score much more goals than last season. That's the goal for, for every season which is coming. And uh, yeah, I want to be this season especially more productive for the team and create more chances and be more, more confident in front of the goal. And what do you think what has to be the team goal for this season? Win every game which is possible.